I really knew nothing about this film before walking into the theater. All I saw was the poster of the movie, and here's the poster right here. The movie is called Closed Circuit, and it stars Eric Bana and Rebecca Hall, Jim Broadbent, and Julia Stiles, amongst many, many, many other. I mean, this is a very impressive cast. There's a lot of people involved, and the people that actually produced this film uh, produced Ticker Taylor, Soldier Spy, so I think they're trying to tie into that, even though I haven't seen that film yet. This is a film about, uh, it's a political thriller. It's dealing with this, this suicide bombing that happened in London in a very populated area, like a farmer's market of some kind. And months have passed, and Eric Bana and Rebecca Hall, who are ex-lovers, are put on the case when the guy that might have been a part of this and orchestrated this whole thing is on trial and they have to find out all these details at the same time is I think this is why the movie is called Closed Circuit is because of all the surveillance that happens in this film. Many, 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 many cameras. Especially in the beginning, there's this really cool sequence where we get to see all these different camera angles before this bomb goes off. So we kind of get an idea who's in this little community before the bomb goes off. That was really one of the most intriguing things about this movie. I mean, it was a good way to start this film. And then we really get to know these characters and, you know, there is deceit and lies and murder. You know, you just don't know who's really telling the truth in this film. Now, this is a film that I have to say was a little tough to understand. I don't know if you, because I'm not that politically savvy that it kind of a lot of stuff went over my head, but it was it was definitely a difficult movie to comprehend and to really get into. Now, I like political thrillers. I like s stuff like that that really... I like thrills in general that really try and give us a character, put them in a... You know, they're like... They're trying to live their lives and then they're put in this over-the-top situation and they have to try and find a way to get out and hopefully survive by the end of the film. Now, this film is not very long. It's like 96 minutes. So it breezed by pretty quick and held my attention most of the time. I like the cinematography. I think it's directed really well. I think the two leads, especially Eric Bana and Rebecca Hall, have some good chemistry and I cared about them somewhat even though I didn't really feel technically involved entirely in this movie. I really wanted to feel more involved and find this to be more captivating than it really was. I'm watching the movie and, and, and it's happening and I'm enjoying it for the most part but it's not a film that I think will be remembered anytime soon. It's not a movie that I don't think I would say, you gotta go see it in the theater. I would never say that for this movie. This is a movie that I think, if it's on cable, it's definitely worth watching at least once. It's not something that is too, something that I'm going to really remember after I talk about it right now. But I felt like the, the performances were decent, it looked really good, it did flow. Luckily, it is about 90 minutes. I think if this movie was trying to be two, two and a half hours, and was trying to tell the same story as it did, it might have felt a lot longer. Of course, it would have been a lot longer, but I mean, had that feeling of, of feeling like too long and boring. I, I, I wasn't bored, but I have to say I wasn't really involved as an audience member either. So yeah, in the end, I don't know what more I can say about this film. I, I wanted to enjoy it. I was, I, I'm glad that I went into not really knowing much, so my expectations weren't really anywhere. I had no expectations walking into this movie. And now that I've walked out, I have to say it's a decent film. It's nothing spectacular, and I think if you go into that with that mindset, you might enjoy it. You might even understand it more than I did. But uh, overall, I think the best part about this is Eric Bana and Rebecca Hall. I think in their roles, they're very convincing to get you to care for at least 90 minutes. I'm going to give the film Closed Circuit two and a half stars. I'm Movie Man Chad. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Twitter and I'm on Facebook. And please go to WeLiveFilm.com and subscribe right here on YouTube to We Live Film. And if you love to go to the movies and see every kind of film that's out there, that you can possibly get your hands on, I highly recommend you check out moviepass.com. Thank you again for watching, and man, I got another movie to watch tomorrow. I hope I hope I go see it tomorrow.